cute. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Serena Expedition. And I say that because a long time ago we played a demo for this game in a little shotgun, and now the game has been released! So I thought we would have a little bit of a look at it. I remember getting called, really. I was trying to finish up for the day, but a stack of paperwork was keeping me late. To be honest, I was also looking for reasons not to go home. My phone rang, I answered it, and the director of the institute was talking to me disjointedly about something that had turned up in a recent survey of the Serenity. Control, this is Sierra Echo One. Connected to Walkway. Now leaving the bathosphere. What a cute little submarine. It looks like a little m, &M person. This is kind of adorable. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if... Um, what can I do with shift? I can trot along and skip like some sort of stereotypical child through an even more stereotypical meadow full of forget me something that showed up in Sona imagery. Either 300 meters long and too regular in shape to be a natural formation. I thought she was getting ahead of herself when she called it a facility, but more detailed scans seem to confirm this. Boing! I don't seem to be tremendously boingy today. Perhaps if I get a running start, I will be able to succeed at this. Run! This has not worked. <laughs> This is not exactly an auspicious beginning. Okay, perhaps if I run all the way, I will be able to do this. Run! Boing! Hmm. This... Oh, hang on. Oh, you seem to jump a bit higher if you just sort of stand still. Oh. I was doing the exact opposite of what I was supposed to be doing, and as such, my life was awful. Well, that shouldn't really surprise anybody, given that's the only thing I've been doing for the past 22 and a half years, but that isn't the point. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the demo is going to be, um... The demo is just going to be like the first bit of the game. I don't remember how long it was, probably about 15, 20 minutes if it was in a shotgun. And, um... And then we'll sort of get to the end of what was shown in the demo, and then we'll see the rest of the game. Uh, I don't know, but apparently it's about, uh, about an hour long now and uh and i look forward to seeing what's in it partly because i want to explore what we didn't see. He hello little demon doll what are you doing floating by um can i oh no i sorry i thought i was sort of moving around like a three-dimensional environment it's still a 2d plane that i'm walking on even though even though it doesn't seem that way what is this it is a switch Oh goodness, it opened a big spooky door and made it clip through a railing slightly. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yes, of course, since we played the demo for this so very long ago, I don't remember very much. I remember the aesthetic. I certainly remember the, um, the visuals, and the voice seems familiar as well, hearing it again for the second time. Boing! Uh-oh. <clears throat> Splat, there we are. You didn't see that. You didn't see me being a derp. Shush. You just wanted to know something. But, uh... I'm in a central hall. Seems to be where the living quarters were. There's a number of cells along the wall. No other traces of life here. Seems to have been abandoned. It's odd. The construction looks like it's from the 1980s or 90s. Copy. Hmm. Which uh, I presume is, uh, in terms of the 80s and 90s aesthetic anyway, is to do with, um... Oh, should we go through there, or should we go through um, this way? I think I guess we'll go this way first. This seems more optional, if you ask me. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so I'm guessing sort of the 80s and 90s aesthetic is probably to put it in with a sort of PS1 type... Uh, type aesthetic, which of course is so very popular in video games, uh, particularly of the more spookalicious variety. So, um, I must say I'm, I'm, I'm not wholly surprised that it's abandoned, unless it was previously uh, crewed by a lot of fish. I would imagine that uh, once, an, once a building gets full of water, it becomes uh, rather difficult for you to, um, 
for you to uh, maintain a, uh, a humanoid presence there. Hello, Bib. Right, what I'm in have we? I've arrived at what looks like an observation deck. Only clues where it might have been used for. I'm not sure, but it's looking out over the deepest part of the trench, so maybe they found something down there. Okay, keep going. Sorry, I have this small mischievous cat I'm trying to. Uh, Trying to get him for a cameo. Right, what does this do? Does this open the other door? Oh, it does! Excellent. I'm glad to see that I haven't completely screwed this up. Can I jump over the top of this? Can I jump into the ravine? Oh, goodness, no. But I can get a hell of a view here. <laughs> wow. How would you get this view other than by jumping over this? That's, uh, that's attention to detail. I'm glad to see that they predicted that uh, some of their player base was going to be as, uh, as, as foolish as me. <laughs> I like that. I like it when a game is uh, its not just idiot-proof, but they cater to idiots in order to uh, make sure that we get a little bit more fun than everyone else does, so uh, I like that. I was wondering if we might see some big sea monster, some sort of kraken or uh, leviathan, go past the, uh, go past the window in a uh, subnautica style, but not yet. This game's going to be about an hour long and we're barely scratching the surface yet, so... Uh, we don't want to uh, spoil any of the soggy spooks too soon. Right then, let me question how under the sun people would get onto this walkway if they weren't able to jump around with their rocket-packed diving suit that I seem to have, and, um, and we'll ignore how people would have actually reached that uh, observation deck. But. Uh, and not able to go down that little set of steps because of course there is a blockage so let's see what we can find over here through this green door thank you eventually the camera will catch up and we'll go through the door and have a look what have we here ah oh. ah lovely <laughs> I feel I love that I'm not going to call control about that. Excuse me, control. There are great big eyeballs in the in the floor. I feel like that would be worthy. Right. Bib, would you kindly settle your ass somewhere? your ass on that side. There we go. That's it. Boop your controls for a minute while I try to get a cat in position. Right. How am I going to get up there? Unless I can jump up here somehow and like hold on to something. I don't think so. Oh, there we are. Just about managed it. Right. This is interesting. Why exactly was this woman not talking about the eye that she saw? Hmm? Why did she fail to mention this? Because it seems to have had an autonomic response. Or rather, it seems to have produced an autonomic response for them. Huh? There's no record of any structure of this size having been constructed underwater anywhere. Certainly none at a depth of 10 kilometers below sea level. But who built this thing? When and why? I have so many questions. Hmm. Yeah, this almost strikes me as something that was built on land and then almost put in the sea. This doesn't really strike me as something that was designed to be used underwater. I mean, the doors are quite sturdy, but... Especially if it was built in the 80s and 90s, I don't really imagine it would have been all that sturdy. No, they weren't exactly building things out of Tugson in... They weren't exactly building things out of Tugson in the 1980s, were they? But, um... Not... Come in control. Are you picking up anything unusual in my external reading? I like the um, I like the local accents. It makes me feel at home, even if we are at the bottom of the sea. Um, yeah, I get the distinct impression this one might be hallucinating, perhaps. I think she wants him to monitor her external readings in order to see if there's anything actually out of the ordinary going on, and seemingly there isn't. I was chosen to pilot a back sphere down to the structure and investigate. An atmospheric diving suit was obviously necessary at that depth. 
I've been working on a new suit that utilises highly sophisticated equipment for underwater surveys. This seems like the perfect opportunity to test it out. Couldn't you have chased it like the bottom of a swimming pool or something? That would seem a little bit safer than 10 kilometers under the sea. Oh, interesting. Okay, so uh, presumably this is going to open one gate. I'm going to have to go through that gate, get something or do something, and then come back, open the other gate, and then, uh, and then go through again. Interesting. All right, let's see. I doubt I'm going to be able to make that jump either doing it horizontally or vertically. This jump here seems a bit more doable, however. But let's see what we've got along along here first. I think this is the door that I opened, yeah. So let's see what's along here. Other than some funkalicious music. Okay, there's another switch. Like a storage room. Can't tell what was stored here. I'm still not sure what the purpose of this facility was. Sorry, a weird click just uh, emitted from my screen. That was really bizarre. Not sure if the microphone picked that up or not. The um, I don't know if this is the right word to say, but the atmosphere feels quite oppressive. There's just something about the sound effects and and the music that almost gives you a feeling of claustrophobia. I don't know whether that's just me, perhaps I'm just going mad, but um, it certainly does feel as if I'm in a very sort of trapped and confined environment. I presume I can pull this back, right? Yes, I can, excellent. Because I reckon that this door here, yes, that A, that's the next door I need to go through, and B, I'll be able to access it by going across that second, that second catwalk that we saw along here, which seems a bit more reachable. So I reckon if I boing my way up here, with double boingage, triple boingage even, goodness. Right, let me see if I can uh, jump up here. Not really, no. All right, let me um, let me try getting a bit of a running start at this. Can I run around a corner, perhaps? That seems uh, slightly unlikely, but we'll see what we can do. Run, boing! Okay, I'm going to actually jump a bit further than I thought, actually. Maybe it will be possible to get onto that second level. Let's see if we can see anything down there while we're walking along here. No, no, it just looks like it gets to a dead end. Okay, then, so there's no need to go that way, even if it is accessible. Unless there's a little bit of a secret there. I cannot remember if it was this game's description or another one. I was certainly just scared the life out. I'm aware of the dangers of the dying to matter. Of course I am. I've been dying for most of my life. This didn't seem like something I could pass up. The mystery consumed me. You have to know what it is. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I, 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 I was playing another game earlier. I can't remember if it was the description of this one or that one, but uh, it might have said there was some hidden contents in the game that uh, that might extend the playtime. I. Uh, I apologise if I am misremembering, but uh, I always like a game that has a little secret something in it. This seems unpleasant. Yes. Halloween is over. We don't need the eyeball candy anymore. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> kitty, uh, um, yes, I feel as if we're getting quite close to where the the hell is that? <laughs> that looked like some sort of leviathan out of uh, Subnautica. I think we've fallen out of contact. I also noticed that we're moving more slowly. Boing! Yeah, I feel as if we're getting very close to where the demo ended. So, uh, we might be about to plunge to new depths, if you don't mind the pun. Yes, there's certainly something down here that's not very pleasant. We've seen it a couple of times swimming around, but, uh, it might just be some sort of fish. I don't know how many species of fish we've catalogued that live ten kilometres below the sea level, but, uh, not a tremendously large percentage of them, I would imagine. 
do we need this dramatic close-up? I feel as if you're just hiding bits of real uh, visual real estate from me, which you're going to put a demon in, in order to frighten me. Yeah, like this bit, which reminds me of that level from Lego Island 2. That would explain why it was so dark before. Control. Come in, Control. Do you copy? Are you there, Control? I'm going to take that as a no. I'm just going to go this way because I have this uh, insufferable habit of going the... Uh, going backwards whenever we start in an area like this in the fake hope there'll be something interesting hidden on this side but uh, somehow I doubt that this is the case there's a big chasm how can I get up there? up there? what where that box is? not by going this way my friend that much is certain right let's skip along away from those bizarre yellow reeds over there that frankly look more like pieces of cutlery I woke up at the bottom of an abyss with no link to the outside world no idea how long I'd been down there. I thought you said no idea how you'd got down there. You got down there by falling. I'm not sure how I got here. Can you hear me, Control? I don't know if anyone's receiving this, but I'm going to keep transmitting. If nothing else, my diving suit is recording all of my radio communications, so if I make it out of here, we'll have this recording. It'll be a record of what I've been yeah, I had a funny feeling I'd be able to push the wrong button. Sorry, I had a funny feeling I might be able to push this, because uh, it looked like we might have been able to push the um, the green box that was in the in the little space that the uh, the protagonist wanted to get into. So um, would you would you th thank you thank you? I'm glad to see we could come to some sort of mutually agreeable uh, compromise here. I like the way that the reeds sway a little bit. That one looks like a funny candle holder, but, um, no, I, I quite like this. This is, uh, I still don't really like being out here. I didn't feel particularly safe inside the structure. I might get away from the creepy CCTV cameras of demons. I might, um, get here. Without knowing where I was, all I could really do was try to get out of the abyss. I headed up. Hmm. Can I push that box up here? That seems... That seems wildly hopeful. But, um... Can I... Can I... Can I... I can't... I might be able to do that. Let me see if I can push this up the hill. I highly doubt that that's going to work, but... It's worth a quick try, I suppose. Let me see what I can do. Push! With great strength! No, okay. I don't know why I thought I would be able to push that up there, but I suppose it was worth the thought. Right, let me bang my head on the ceiling. Fantastic. Yeah, let me try jumping up. No, that didn't work. That didn't even work a little bit. Right, let me try getting a running start on this as best I can anyway. There we go. Just about managed it. That other box didn't seem particularly necessary. It seemed quite optional, but... Uh, Perhaps they just wanted to put a couple in that you don't really need, so that you never quite know uh, whether you're going to need it or not, rather than it just being obvious that as soon as you see a green box, there's a little puzzle going on. I should probably just jump over this one, but I um, feel like I should slightly regret doing that. If I'd pushed the box, then I would have been hidden behind it, and that thing wouldn't have been able to give me the literal eye. Oh my giddy aunt. Right, I need to jump uh, up here, don't I? Yes, I do. So, let me head back and see uh, what I can manage. It seems like we're between two big metal walls, like, like we're in some kind of cleft, for want of a better word, and goodness knows we need a better word than that. We're in some sort of gap in the middle of the base or the ship or whatever this structure is, and uh, yeah, I, I get the distinct impression that uh, that these little walkways are perhaps connecting the two sides one way or the other. Let me try getting a little bit of a run up for this. Run! 
Excellent, that went better than I predicted it would. Right, let's see what we have over here, and uh, then we'll head back over to the left as well. This does not seem to le- oh goodness. There is no- goodbye. Goodbye. There is no way in hell I'm making that jump. That is simply not going to happen, right. Allow me to boing in this direction. There we are, let's see if I can boing in this one as well. Nope, that didn't work at all. Excellent. Oh my kitty aunt. Okay. Can I make this jump here on the left? Or am I, um... I'm going to scooch myself as far to the left as I can go. And by to the left and to the right. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. This is, no, this is not going to be easy. But I do spy a doorway there. Okay, good. Man alive. Okay, panic over. Right, all right. I didn't come in here to get anything. I just came in here to have a look at this. Okay, it doesn't seem like I can go anywhere or interact with anything, so uh, I guess we're going back. Okay, I guess we're going to have to try and jump over that massive chasm, which uh, isn't going to be uh, dreadfully successful. I don't look forward to finding out what the death animation in this game looks like, or possibly even worse, it'll just put me back to the uh, put me back to the beginning. But let's see what happens. Oh my kitty. <laughs> I keep doing this by the skin of my teeth. I feel like I'm living on borrowed time. Okay, let's just relax and and pray, frankly. That's the only that's the only thing I've got going for me. That and this jiggly wall. Okay, maybe these are caves. Maybe they aren't the sides of the uh, of the superstructure. Because these do seem a little bit more well, a little bit more naturally occurring. So, um, perhaps, perhaps I can go back that way. That seems plausible. Yes. Yeah, I feel like there might be a few little sort of hidden, hidden things around here that you can uh, you can miss. Because this might lead us somewhere interesting. Let's have a little scoot along here. Oh goodness, there's a big switch here, which again makes this seem a lot more man-made. But never mind. What does this do? Oh, it opens the door. It's a big orange box. Fascinating. If only I could think of a subscription box which markets, markets itself with an orange colour, I would be able to make a dreadful joke. Instead, I could just sit here and tell you about how I can't make jokes because I'm not very culturally aware and also rather stupid. I'm seeing human-made walkways and doors. The people from the facility must have been doing work down here. Was it excavation? Something else? I don't know, but there's the number 47 on here. Let me uh, clamber my way over. What does this do? It shuts the door. I don't really get how that's supposed to help my situation. Well, all right. We'll pretend like it definitely does. Hmm. Actually, I have no idea how that would, what even the point of that would be. But, um... Other than just to tease you, if you uh, if you got onto the side of the door, this side of the door that is, without having opened it, because you didn't go through that uh, that little extra passageway. But um, let me pop this here and see if this will let me jump up here. It did. The thing is, you really mustn't move at all. It's interesting, that dialogue, the dialogue that isn't in the radio transmissions, almost sounds like narration, like it's being said after the fact, versus the radio transmissions, which are of course more, um, more concurrent. It is interesting. It's also very professional. But, um, Bib, you, the location of your bum really isn't making it easy for me to hit the buttons on the keyboard, but I will do my best. I will persevere. Okay. I'm back at the seabed level, and I can see the facility again, at last. I must have been in the abyss that I saw from the walkway earlier, the one that was connecting the two halves of the facility. I should be able to get back in from here. 
Is someone there? Control. Control, is that you? Come in, Control. Is anyone there? I somehow doubt it. Frankly, that sounded more like some sort of Lovecraftian slumbering demon god. But, um, let's climb up the ladder. Oh, goodness, we can climb very expeditiously. I'm not even pressing the shift key. Kitty, aren't you stop eyeballing me? Kitty, aren't you? I'd stand up on the corner. Right. Yeah, you'll pardon me if I've got no interest in going back down there. I'd like to come back inside here, where hopefully things will be ever so slightly less demonic. But probably only a little bit. Okay. I feel vaguely safe inside this structure. Not massively so, but at least vaguely, in the sense of the weird swimming demon that looks like something you've dragged out of your shower drain is, uh, is at least not in here. At least not yet. So let's see what we find. This looks like an elevator or something. Yes, I reckon that's what that is. I reckon if I push this then in a couple of seconds this is going to uh, go down or go up yeah that would work as well actually which I suppose I could then sort of just drop down here couldn't I boop good good that worked quite nicely okay what's that is that a broken switch that's sort a of yellow thing by that box just um just by my bonts I reckon that might be a broken switch given that everything around here seems to be utterly knackered. Yeah, looks like a bull has been through this china shop. Oh, not again. Uh, what? What are you? You are... I don't understand. What, what you want with me? What? I can't take it off. Man alive, it takes a level of... When I got back to the facility, things weren't quite as I remember. I know the site was in a state of disrepair before, but now it felt like the place was barely holding together. How long have I been down there? I, 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 I don't think. It takes a level of emotional fortitude, which I sadly lack, to be able to tell a demon just to uh, stick it where the sun don't shine and uh, just waltz off. So I must say I applaud this woman for her, uh, for her balls. Right then! Never mind any of that rubbish. Let's carry on with our lives. I'm back at the exterior walkways. But what's happened? Everything's collapsed. How long was I down there? And where do I go from here? Oh, you again. I can't. It would kill me. I still don't... Wait. Why is that frequency? That resonance? If I could hear it better. I wish you'd let me in on the joke. What? Hold to flat ground and enter teleport selection. What the hell are you talking about? I didn't press this button. What? I'm really glad that this is beyond the realms of known physics, because the realms of known physics to fill is next to none, because I barely study physics at all. <laughs> so I sincerely hope that you will forgive me for being stupid. Right, can I get across here or not? Somehow I doubt it. Can I, um... Can I zoom? Yes. Right. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love sci-fi techno babble. 
The frequency resonation is... Would you go away and leave me alone to my frequency resonations? Thank you very much. <laughs> How does it work? We don't know, but we're going to hide that behind a load of syllables. That's been the uh, age-old approach of sci-fi, and hell, that's why we love it. Okay, so I've unlocked some sort of ability, which presumably is going to make the, uh, the platforming more interesting. That much I approve of, otherwise this would have kind of turned into a walking simulator. So, let's see what more we can find. If indeed it's still there. You need space around you in order to teleport. Well, of course. I mean, how did I not know that? Right, um, can I go to that one? Yes, I can. Just about. Um... Well, so much for the demon being outside and me being inside. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky because I need to get up here, but I doubt I'm going to be able to do that with my jump. No, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that, is there? Hmm. Hmm. Unless, unless I can teleport somewhere else from here. Oh, I can teleport to that one. As I made my way back to the bathroom, I thought more and more about how much time had passed since I'd entered the facility, given the rate of accelerated decay. I could tell it wasn't a matter of hours or days, it was years or even decades. But how was that possible? Oh, lock this. This is clever. Right, let me scoot this a teeny tiny bit further. Oh, yeah, I like this. This is a really nice way of doing the mechanic, actually. It's not just about moving yourself, it's also about what you move. This can't be the same place. I was just here. How has everything fallen apart so rapidly? It's like I've jumped forward in time. Well, I'm not an expert, but salty water is quite good at destroying things, as are fish and shark and octopuses and all the other sorts of horrific things that live at the bottom of the sea. Um, yeah, this is a really nice mechanic, having to think about the boxes that you move when you, um... I can't quite manage that, can I? I might, however, be able to manage this and get a little bit of a run going. Run! And boing! These two things are equally important. Okay, I think this is back to the entryway. Unless I'm highly mistaken, I'll skip along in glee! Oh, fiddlesticks. No, no, no! The batosphere! It's... How am I supposed to get out of here now? I have to get back to the surface. I'm not coming down there again. I don't think I have a choice. But how do I get to the observation deck? Thank you. I must say, it's a strange set of circumstances that I've come about to in my Sunday evening when I'm getting instructions from an eldritch abomination about how to go down. But hey ho, here we are, such as the joys of indie video games. Right then. <laughs> oh my giddy on. What next? Oh. When you said help, you mean explode. Well, that's certainly one approach. We'll roll with it for a while and see precisely how pulverized it makes us. Kids, yeah, this is a very nice um, blast. I need to go up here, don't I? Oh, fiddlesticks. I am going to have to beam towards 
that one in order to bring that box over here. And then we've, this is a really nice mechanic. I really, uh, I, I really think it's important to hammer that home. This is a very, very nice little platforming mechanic. Because yes, you've got the teleporter for moving yourself about, but then having to completely turn that on its head and then move boxes around by your teleportation is really a very nice way of doing that. Very nice indeed. Right then, if I'm not mistaken, this is the room that the demon went into, so isn't that charming? Please don't murder me, demon. Maybe it wasn't this room, maybe it was in one of those little rooms, I don't know. Frankly, I don't care. As long as it's not the room that I'm currently standing in, I'm more than happy. Yeah, well, I, I ain't seeing nothing too deadly yet. Okay. Can I pull these boxes in this direction? Oh, I can. Good. It sort of makes sense that I can pull if I'm trying to figure out how to go down, given that if you can't do the former, you'll never get the opportunity to do the latter. Right then, moving onwards and upwards. I don't know, but I'd really like to get looked at slightly less by these boiled eggs they've got stuck in the walls. Oh dear, okay, there's another broken switch here. How precisely is this supposed to help? Do they mean up there? If so, how under the sun am I going to manage that? Because I highly doubt I'm going to be able to access a box from here. Is that, is that, I, I can't access any boxes from here, can I? New. No. Hmm. Hmm. How does one do this? Unless I can get a tiny running jump on here, but that seems like wishful thinking. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a bit of a disaster, wasn't it, Mrs. B? We didn't succeed dreadfully well at that. Hmm. Hmm. Would it be possible for me to get one of those boxes up here? Let me backtrack a little bit and see. It just might be doable. It's gonna. Well, obviously, it's gonna be depend on whether I can even get it up onto this walkway in the first place. Oh, of course I can, because there's one right here. Sometimes I amaze myself with how stupid I am. Okay, this is probably going to be quite slow going, given I can't uh, I can't run while I'm doing this. But uh, if we push this, we might have to use the teleport in order to get it up the stairs, given that they're not a smooth ramp. And given that we tried pushing it up a smooth ramp earlier in the game, and that didn't work. So um, that's kind of a moot point. Right, let me leave this here for a second, and then bounce my way up the stairs. Boing. And then um, I'll try and get it up here. There we are. If only moving parcels was this easy, then um, I don't know. Courier services wouldn't be so expensive. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this should let us up onto the upper deck, which I did notice the first time we were around, and I was wondering whether there would be a way up there, but uh, I couldn't think of one at the time, so I decided not to comment on it for fear of it making me look like a muppet. But uh, it seems as if now is the time. Right, let me bounce my way up here. And then I can jump up here. And then I can jump up here. Thank you very much. Kitty aunt. Not going to ask what all of the green vomit is. I'm just going to leave that to the devices. And I'm going to jump up to here. Righty ho. Where are we now? I don't know. I just sincerely hope that that mop-headed monster I leaves us alone. Yeah, neither am I, but hey-ho, you've got the ability to breathe underwater now. So, and also to survive the pressure of being ten kilometres under the sea. And I don't know much about pressure, but I imagine that's quite stressful. What is this? I didn't see this during the approach. Am I going to have to climb it? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is going to take all day. Oh, Bib, how are we going to survive this? Oh, my kitty on. This is going to take a long ass time. Okie doke. Let's see what interesting platform adventures it has for us. 
and let us scamper along for the sake of expeditiousness. Thinking back on it, there are a lot of things about my time in the facility that didn't make sense. That might just be my old way of thinking. I've changed something, and it feels like things are changing around me all the time. What does this do? I think this is going to activate another lift, isn't it? Hello, little darling. Where is this going to take me? Looks as if I might get, yeah, might get access to these fans. No, we're not, because uh, <laughs> the carriage is just a little waltz away from them. All right, fair enough. Another locked door. This seems to be my only way off the roof. Maybe there's a switch to open it further up. Yeah, our Mart's seen that. And by further up, you mean about five miles up. All right, fair dues. <laughs> okay. Let's see what progress we can make. Let's see if we can get up here. I don't know why this structure's here. It doesn't seem to have any function, but this isn't just random debris. It feels almost like it's purposely designed to test it. Mmm. You, uh. <laughs> you sound like a tourist in the Mushroom Kingdom, but, uh. Don't you worry about that, madam. We will survive it together. Or possibly we'll die together, one way or the other. Okay, where the hell is this going? Is this somewhere I've been before? I don't think so, no. Okay, it seems like you can go sort of different ways around, like you can head to the left or the right. Hmm. That might go some... I don't know which way to go, I'm going to try this way. That might go some way to explaining um, how they were able to live and work underwater, given that uh, I imagine under normal circumstances that would have been a trifle tricky. Right, there's no way I'm going to be able to make this jump as a... Nope! So this isn't going to work, we're going to have to go a different way. Okay. It, are we going to do with the same thing over here, or...? Potentially not, no. Let me go boing. Oh, I almost made it. <laughs> okay, let me jump up here and turn this switch and we'll see what um we'll see what that does. There we go. What is this going to do? Oh, it's bringing that down. I must confess I thought everything else was moving up at first. <laughs> Never mind, that's just perspective for you. Right, presumably this will move it back up. Given there isn't much further for it to go down. That seems like a reasonable, uh, reasonable assumption. Okay. Sorry, I apologise for continuously looking down. I'm trying to manoeuvre my hand back onto the shift key for but it keeps moving it away. How exactly does this help my situation? Can I beam to that one? Oh, I can! I wonder if it would be possible for the uh, voices and the music to be balanced a little better so that the music doesn't drown the voices out quite so much. But hey-ho, I am one to criticise audio balancing, as is a recurring reference in this uh, in this wacky little corner of the internet. Right, what do you say, change the frequencies? Do you mean change the item into something else? I'm entirely sure how that would be helpful, but... Um, yeah, that isn't going to lead me anywhere, but perhaps I can move this somewhere else where it would be more use to me. This must allow me, because look, there's another box down there, there's an orange one down there. Perhaps if I can move these, I can use them to get over these uh, overly tall uh, jumps that we can see here. Looks like I might need maybe three of them. Yeah, if we put this on the lift, I don't really know how we're going to get past the switch without teleporting, but, um... Yeah, look, there's there's loads of boxes all around, actually. This might be doable, it might just take a little bit of time to get it done. Hmm... Hmm... Uh, yeah, let me see if I can uh, beam it onto the other side of this switch. He says pressing the wrong button again. 
There we go. Boink once again. Yeah, let me see if I can get this where I want it. What would probably be the easiest thing for me to do would be to leave it here and then go on the other side and then jump up. I said, and then jump up, thank you very much, and then uh, beam it straight up here rather than, um, there we are, rather than faffing around pushing it underneath. That doesn't seem like it would be a massively, uh, massively useful expenditure of time. Yes, so I reckon if I now push this into place, this will be enough for me to get over the first step. Mm hmm. Although, saying that, do I actually need more than one box? Because... Oh no, I am going to need more than one box, aren't I? Because look, I can I can beam this one up here, which is lovely and all, but then I can't get back up there in order to continue to beam it further along. So I am definitely going to need uh, at least one more. Interesting! Probably two more, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, let's see. Does this lead anywhere? Yes, this might lead towards the orange one. About why I can do what I can now. The eyes did it to me, or whatever being they belong to. They changed my resonance, but they had to bring me forward in time to do it. Maybe the rules are different here. In the sense that as time goes by, anything seems to... Any, continuously, more and more, seems to come under the, uh, the old catch-all if anything goes. But, um, yes, perhaps. Perhaps here society is, in this time frame, is more accepting of... Uh, people who can survive underwater and breathe underwater and survive the pressure underwater and also ramble on about resonance all the time and also beam around like uh, some sort of teleporting Starfleet officer. Perhaps these things are true in this era. I don't know, I can't tell you that. Okay, I reckon we've about uh, re re rescued this box is the bizarre turn of phrase I was about to use for some bizarre reason. Don't really know what we're rescuing it from, but... Uh, yeah, let me get this box um, up to where we left the, the green one, and uh, then we'll go have a look for what will probably be the third and final box. Rotty ho then. If I jump up here, and then a little further, and then I push this one in place here, I should be able to jump up here. Mm-hmm. Now I can beam this green one up to there. And then this orange one up to here. There we go. Which means, yes, I'll need one more. And then I'll be able to reach the uh, the switch. So I do spy another orange crate sort of uh, down and to the right of where we are right now. Although I'm not really sure how we're going to access that. Aha, perhaps this walkway here. This this seems about right. Let us see what we can find over here. A locked door? Well done, everything to hell in the handbasket. I can certainly get the box on the other side, but that's probably just going to leave me trapped. More times I took off my helmet, more naturally fell. Sure, the pressure was still uncomfortable. Grieving walls I felt a little weird, but... Hearing the resonance of everything around me almost made my discomfort so I'm starting to forget what your life before this crazy place? What does this do? Oh goodness, it brings me another box! Not wholly sure how helpful this is going to be, but apart from letting me uh, teleport across, which now that I think about it would be quite helpful. What does this switch do? I have a horrid feeling it's just going to shut that door. The door I've just gone through. But let's have a look and see what it does. At least we can switch it back afterwards. Hopefully. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not wholly sure that helps. Unless I can still beam from one side to another here. Yes, I can. Okie dokie. Yeah, this will allow me to access the lever, and then I can teleport across again using the green box. And hopefully this will reopen that door. Hooray! We did it and everything. 
Right, um, if you would care to scoot out of the way. Thank you very much. There we go! We did it! We figured it out using our brains! Good. It's about time I worked that underdeveloped muscle of mine. Okay, then. Let me uh, get this one back to the big steps, and we will see what happens when we flip the switch of destiny. I'm dreadfully sorry to interrupt the scheduled jump cut, but I have discovered something weird! And it isn't just my voice. No, um, this is bizarre. So you can wander around with the arrow keys. You can also wander around with W, A, S, and D, which is interesting. What I noticed is when you use W, A, S, and D, the button prompt for this changes to K instead of using Z. So it's almost like it's got two layouts, and it switches the prompts between them depending on which one you've used most recently, which is really cool. I really rather like that. Um, yeah, that's 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 really nice. I, I can't actually. I don't know what the teleport button is going to be now. I can't find it anywhere, so I'm just going to assume it's. I'm just going to go back to using X, given I um I can't find out whatever the the worst one is. But this is much easier because it means I can play with one hand now. So um, don't ask what I'm using the other hand for. Oh, <laughs> I could use the excuse of petting the cat, but she. Uh, she has since uh, left the uh, left the luxury of my lap. Right then, let's um, let's get up here, flip the switch, work our way back down, and get off the top of this bloody building or wherever under the sun it is that we are. Do you really think in the water? Just be able to swim up in order to get past those locked gates? But uh, never mind. It doesn't matter. I understand that we need some sort of uh, plot for the uh, the platforming to work around. Hooray! We figured it out at last. Right then, this is going to be uh, a lot quicker going down than it were going up. <laughs> so, um, in fact, this is going to be a hell of a lot quicker. Let me see uh, if I can remember how I got up here in the first infernal place. I reckon I want to go this way. Yeah, just kind of keep working my way down, 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 until I find that little lift that we found earlier. Was that this way? I feel like it probably wasn't, actually. Yeah, I feel like I've gone a little bit too far. Uh, and, and not just in my comedy. Right, uh, if, you can, if you can be generous enough to describe it as such. Yes, maybe it was this lift here. Perhaps this is the one. Yep, I reckon we have about found where we need to be. So let me scoot my boot. Both of my boots, actually, and we'll go through this little door. Hooray! I've got no idea where we're going, and I highly doubt it's going to be anywhere good, and it's probably just going to be straight into the maw of that demon. But, um... Nah, I'm sure everything will go fine. The thing is, is nothing legitimately frightening has happened yet. This is nice. I like this. These little items and microscopes and shelves and things. This area seems a lot more lived in than uh, the others that we've seen thus far. Kids, aren't. Those look like big specimen tubes where you were keeping monsters that you were growing. Yeah, maybe they were studying something. Maybe they were just, just studying something they discovered. What is that? What is that weird bit of sausage meat that's hanging out of the broken window there? I'm not to play devil's advocate here, but we don't know the scientists killed them. Shush. A, because that one's probably still alive and gonna murder me in a minute, and B, because I don't know, maybe they died when the facility went tits up. I don't know. I'm just saying don't judge people by what you find in their laboratories, alright? <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. Presumably the people who were here were humans. And originally 
that would have lended them at least to some degree to being on the same side as our protagonist here, but now that the eyeball has changed our protagonist's resonance, which is a load of techno babble I didn't think I was going to be coming out with this afternoon, it seems as if she's more on the side of the uh, of the eyeballs and the creatures now, which is all very interesting. I hear the eyes all the time now, with their constant whispers. I've asked them where they came from, but they won't give me a straight answer. They say I'll find out in time. Yes, yes, I somehow doubt that they would just kind of say, Oh, where am I from? Oh, I'm from Croydon. Live in a lovely little semi-detached um, suburban place. <laughs> somehow I doubt that's going to be the reality of the old bollocks. Perhaps I shouldn't have done that. Hmm. I don't know. But I might have screwed things up royally by coming here, or I might have not I'm done that. We've been on our gap here, we've found ourselves, and now we're ready for the rest of our lives. Or oh, some sort of tribe. Ahem. Won't do your spine any good. Oh goodness, it's a lot of dead people. There's no water down here. How is that possible? The suit is really heavy, but I think I can keep moving. The weird thing is that the mop-headed demon of the sea and the eyeball demon of the sea were somehow more comprehensible to me than the um than the cave of corpses. Right, I can scamper a little bit and I can find all of these lovely skeletons in their brightly coloured suits. Everyone from the facility seems to have ended up here. It's almost like they died in a state of worship. Oh look, there's a little there's a little glyph of a little man there, I think. He's got little arms. Yes, yes, yes. Look, those those two look like the red one and the green one. Like they were on their knees, almost um, in reverence to it. Goodness, the demo didn't do this game justice. I can see myself. Of course, it's me. It's always been me, and I know how to get back now. <laughs> What on earth are you talking about? Sierra, the one who's controlled, we order you to immediately withdraw from the facility. Your behaviour is jeopardising your safety. Okay, Control. I'm turning around now. That's good to hear. I'm continuing to monitor your vitals, but I can see they're beginning to stabilise. Understood. Hang on, have you turned the camera around or not? I'm getting confused. It's like the middle of a football game. Nope. Interesting. So I, like, sent myself back in time. Do I get a choice now as to whether I do it over again or not? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Because the narration, what with it all being in the past tense... Hey, what? Oh. Oh, 
travelling. I'd like to see the world. Uh, probably look into other fields my research can be applied to. That's good for departure for you. It is, yes. Might I have a moment to speak? You know, this is sort of my show. <clears throat> Which kind of explains why it's such an absolute train wreck. No, um... What was I going to say? This <laughs> is why it's a train wreck. I can't hold my train of thought. <laughs> oh yeah. We here at the Institute have discovered quite possibly the most significant archaeological discovery of mankind short of a pyramid. And we're just going to leave it down there. How about no? How about we get a drone or something and send it down there? How about we send a group of people down there? How about... How about we don't leave it there? I do find myself really curious what would happen if you carried on walking off to the right there. If you just refused to go back in time and undo this. Oh, she's still been changed. So although I've gone back in time to a point before the facility fell apart, the Somebody cracking open the door to a sequel in one day? I do sincerely hope so. Goodness, what a good little game. Spook? What? Spook? <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? I don't know, but that was really good. I really like that. <laughs> Why are so many of your people named after animals? I don't know. Did you just have animals run across the keyboard in order to see what a random brain damaged person who played the game would do? You should have just watched my video on it. I would have told you everything you needed to know. Right then, that was really good. I really like that. The demo didn't in the slightest bit do it justice. Also, I really like the name Giraffe Cat. That's cute. That was really good. That genuinely was really nice. What would happen if I... Can I go and continue again? Where would this put me back to? Hmm. Where is this again? I have no idea. I'm kind of curious. Give me a minute. I'm going to have a look at something. Okay, Control. I'm turning around now. That's good to hear. I'm continuing to monitor your vitals, but I can see they're beginning to stay on Understood. Nope. I am curious, and I wish to know what happens. Oh, fiddlesticks, nothing happens because the door's shut. Well, darn it. <laughs> oh, one of the game's idiot proof. That's a shame. I thought there might be a different ending. Or alternatively, you just continually loop again and again and again, and you just repeat that section of the game. I don't know, but that's very interesting, very mysterious, almost a bit Lovecraftian, really, with the sort of slumbering underwater demon that, uh, that was discovered by humans burrowing too low. I don't know, but this is a beepity game, and I like it. I like things that give beep, which is a very important piece of information that you needed to know in order to understand my opinion on, upon this excellent little game. Right then. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. I really, really do. It's, uh... I just cannot get over the fact that the demo really didn't do this justice. I think it would be very difficult to get across the... the mystery of the facility and what was going on without giving away too much. So... there would be a very difficult balance to find there, but uh, I am very glad that I came back to... Uh, to play the full game of this, because uh, it was definitely worth the few pennies you have to pay for it, and it is very fun and quite cute, with very nice uh, professional voice acting and a very mysterious sort of story, and it certainly uh, exceeded my expectations. So, I really rather enjoyed that, and I hope you did as well. Always nice to come back and uh, finish something that we started a long time ago. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Look after each other, and good night.